Hey, this is Mike Williamson from, again from Cloud Point Geographics. Today we're going to show you how to create a shapefile using ArcMap and specifically the Arc Catalog tab that's available on ArcMap now. I'll move it over to the middle here so we can get a good look of what we're going to do. I'm going to right click on the folder where I want it to be. I want it to be on my desktop. I'm going to right click and go down to New, Shapefile and then create that. That's going to give me a dialog box that says uh, gives it a name. I'm going to call it something meaningful and then I'm going to tell it that I want it to be a point shapefile. Uh, you always want to name your shapefiles meaningful things so that you don't lose them or not know what they are just from looking at them. And then the next thing I need to do is give it a coordinate system. The coordinate system that we use is State Plane West and I'm going to go down to State Plane, choose NAT 83 feet right there, U.S. feet specifically, and then scroll down to Illinois State Plain West, which is where Roanoke is located, so we're going to use that projection system. Projection system tells the GIS file where to be drawn. The problem is we have a map, base map, that is using ArcGIS Online base maps, and so there's a little bit of a warning uh, to show that it's not in the same projection as the base map. That's fine. We know where we're going to put these points, and it knows where it's going to be, so uh, everything's fine. You can tell that since I created a shapefile, there's nothing in the database. It's a blank shapefile. There are no points associated with it, but that's okay because that's what we're going to add. Right-click on Properties and go to the Fields tab on the dialog box, and we'll add some fields. Just start typing below the ID field, which is default in a shapefile. I'm going to call this Type and make it an integer field, and then we're going to call another one this function. This is going to be a text field and let's add one more field that we can add so we can just make this as real world experience as possible, quality, and make that also an integer field. That's enough fields so we hit apply and then OK to make the dialog box go away and we've created a shape file that we can edit. Just in case you don't know how to get to the Arc Catalog box or you don't see it on your side, I'm going to show you and close it again and show you how to find it. Um, it's very easy to find and it's good that ESRI included that with ArcMap. It used to not be. So if I close this here and go up to the window, you can see where that's at and then you click that it opens it up right again. So that's how I found it. So we're going to create a new shapefile. This time we're going to create a line shapefile, a polyline shapefile, and then add it or name it the same as I will call this Roanoke Polylines so that we can do it again. And this time uh, we're going to choose our coordinate system from our favorites, which is exactly the same thing as we did before. We just called it one of our favorites. It gives us the same warning. We disregard that and hit close again, and then we created our polyline shapefile that it adds to the map. And again, there's no data in here. No data has been drawn. We'll show you that in the next podcast. So if I go to properties, we're going to add some fields. Add the same type of field, and then we're going to, we're going to call this one a text, just to be different. And let's add a color field and then uh, that will be also a text and then this one we're going to make an integer it's going to call it use and then we'll just give it a, a short integer for a numeric value and and hit OK and takes the dialog box away and then we have a few shape files that we're going to show you how to edit check out the next YouTube video to see how to edit those shape files we just created and you can either find that on YouTube, search for Cloud Point Geo, or from our blog, cloudpointgeo.com. Thanks a lot.